Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for coming to Open Box Science host info session. Uh, my name is Jerry Lin. I'm a postdoc at Mass General Hospital in Boston. Um, oh. Yeah, Eugenio, could you uh, please help let people in? Thank you. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. And um, uh, in the next 15 minutes or so, I will briefly introduce Open Box Science and our symposiums. So Open Box Science is a platform which is open and free to everyone, no matter where you are or who you are. And the goal is try to facilitate scientific communication and collaborations. And we think this is extremely important this year. Science don't stop in pandemics, science must uh, go on. So first Open Box Science Symposium took place in July this year. And um, since that we have 15 symposiums. Most of the speakers are first authors of recently published papers. And so far we have 50, about 50 speakers and uh, attracted more than 800 participants. So um, it's good to know that uh, most of you have attended at least one of the previous symposiums. But um, since you're here, I think you were wondering what other roles you could play in open box science, some other um, more like leadership positions. So today I will um, uh, give you a brief introduction how to host a symposium uh, by yourself. So first we have to, uh, to ask why host an online symposium. And uh, of course you can listen to the papers firsthand and these are the papers of your choices. And second, you can accumulate some experience of hosting uh, seminars and talks, and it might be uh, an helpful extra lines on your CV. And I think most importantly, you'll get the opportunity to network with uh, the like-minded scientists. And it might be helpful for you when you try to find a job or recruit talents to your group. So to begin with, you have to find a, um, a topic that is that you are passionate about. So any fields or any subfields within the biological and biomedical sciences are, are welcome at this point. We want to expand to physics, mathematics, chemistry, but so far we are focusing on uh, biological and biomedical sciences. And um, you can host a symposium by yourself. Uh, I have done that before. But um, it will be helpful. You can find a, a co-host. You can ask your friend, or um, we can find a, a person and pair with you. Once you have a topic and a partner, then um, you just have to follow four simple steps to organize your open box science symposium, and those are invite, prepare, promote, and host. And now we'll uh, I will briefly introduce each of the steps. Um, in the next uh, maybe five minutes. First, you have to invite um, the speakers to your symposiums. So um, I, I believe most of you have uh, screen journals and find some recent published papers that's super exciting that you really want to know about. And those could be the, the, the candidates um, for your symposiums. Uh, Open Box Science provide email templates that you can use and usually we invited two to four speakers for one symposium. And, um, and the length of the symposium um, is less than two hours, ideally 1.5 hours. And scheduling a symposium is probably the most challenging step of the entire process because you have to find a date time that works for you, for the um, moderators and for all the speakers. But we don't have a, a fixed date or time that you don't uh, just know. You, you can have the symposiums at any date time that works for you. So once you have the speakers, then you have to gather some information so you can introduce the speakers um, during the symposiums. And also we need this information to make flyer uh, to make flyers. And Open Box Science provides flyer templates in our uh, shared Google Drive folder. Open Box Science will not only provide the flyer template, but also will help to create a Zoom meeting link for you. 
So this is an example of a previous uh, flyer. So here, the microglia in development and homeostasis is a, uh, is a topic of the symposium and hosted by um, a graduate student and postdoc at UCSF. And it's the date, time, four speakers, including their uh, affiliations and the title of, the, uh, of their papers. We, are, we uh, not just have this uh, one symposium, uh, one flyer for the entire symposium, we also have flyers that highlight each of the speakers. For example, this is um, we are, um, this one of the uh, speakers in another uh, immunology symposium. And not just the speakers, but we also highlight the hosts or uh, the moderators. So like I said, the two moderators or two hosts of a uh, NOMAD symposium um, in September. So we will try to um, uh, make sure that all the speakers and the hosts would um, get exposures. Okay, and then we have this flyer, so I have to promote uh, the symposium, try to attract as many people as possible. So uh, please have use this uh, flyers to promote in your institution and in community. And Open Box Science will uh, post on Facebook and, and Twitter. And we also send the information to our uh, uh, email list. So we have about 500 uh, subscribers right now. And the last step is the show time is to host, uh, to host your symposium. So for, as a host, you need to introduce um, uh, Open Box Science at the beginning because we try to recruit uh, more uh, speakers and uh, uh, symposium hosts in the near future. And also um, um, you have to introduce the speakers and uh, ask questions. And usually we have a lot of questions from the uh, audience. So being a host, you have the privilege to ask the question you want to ask first. And the open box science will take uh, care of the IT part. We will record the talk talks and we'll take screenshots for you and the speakers. And we'll also um, make sure that the meeting um, it won't be uh, interrupted. Okay, so after the symposium, um, you can send a thank you note and keep the relationship going with all the speakers. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the process and would like to prepare for the next one. And Open Box Science will uh, upload each of the talks to our YouTube channel. And we also have uh, posted screenshots on Facebook and Twitter. So I have um, mentioned, I've mentioned that uh, Open Box Science will provide some uh, templates uh, or materials for you. And all these uh, documents uh, is stored in the host materials folder in Open Box Science Google Drive. So in this uh, folder, you will find this presentation so you can review the process. And also we have email templates that you can use to to send to the, uh, to invite speakers. And we also have uh, a sign up sheet. Um, so make sure that uh, the, the hosts will have uh, invite the same speakers. And in the template symposium folder is, um, is a folder for each of the symposium. So you can put um, the, um, the, the speaker information and the, the flyers you made within the folder. So, um, and, and in this folder, we have the templates. So we have background templates, flyer templates, and also um, an info table for you to put all, all the speakers information in. So basically we have um, everything you need for hosting a symposium. We try to make this easy, uh, this process as easy as possible. Okay, so wow, that's that was pretty quick. <laughs> so basically, that's four, four steps. You have to invite the speak, find the speakers, invite them, prepare for the symposium, let everybody know, and host and moderate the event. So um, it's it's pretty actually very, very straightforward and it's pretty simple. Uh, maybe simple. I think I think you thought it's not as difficult as you thought. Yeah. So um, I'll probably just stop here. And if you have any questions or comments, and welcome to unmute yourself and uh, 
and um, say hello to everyone. Yeah, thank you.